Empty streets, broken buildings, closed shops and the smell of burning from houses smoldering after yet another shelling. This is what Marnohrad looks like today with fighting already two kilometers away from the outskirts. The deserted silence of the city is interrupted only by the sounds of war. Cassette. Cluster munition. Well, these are the sounds you can hear in Pokrovsk, Mernograd. Mernograd is only a couple of kilometers away from Pokrovsk. Almost every minute, Putin's terrorists destroy the city and its infrastructure with shells and bombs. People who remain here literally live in shelters, and those who cannot stand such a life decide to evacuate. No water, no gas, nothing. No electricity, no telephony. We've been without electricity for three weeks. What kept you here? Yeah? Right. I want to be at home. In my own home. We moved from a nine-story building to our own house. We wanted to be here. Well, it's work home. That's it. Well, they're still holding on, but I'm constantly crying. People are being evacuated from the city by both volunteers and police. Only armored vehicles are entering areas that are being heavily shelled by the Russians. Lean on the shoulder, hold on. That's it, everything will be fine. Yulia is 89 years old. The woman was born in the Kursk region. She moved to Mernograd with her family in 1939. The pensioner still cannot believe that Russia decided to attack Ukraine. There is one thing I cannot understand. How can you not feel sorry for the people? How can you not feel sorry for the children? That is how everything was restored. It was so good in Ukraine. I want to die on Ukrainian soil. People packed their entire lives into a few bags. They took everything they needed. Lydia's luggage is small. The most valuable thing is the Ukrainian flag that stood on the windowsill of her apartment. Even before leaving Marinograd, the woman already misses home. I don't want to leave anything Ukrainian. I want to be at home. I want to lie down on my pillow, cover myself with my blanket. Evacuation from Murnohrad is already life-threatening. The city is shelled day and night, but volunteers, even having arrived here from the neighboring region, are ready to evacuate everyone who wants to live here. You easily enter Mernograd, although you understand how this can be. When you think you know it's a problem, and when you don't think it happens, it happens. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the volunteer has evacuated about 3,000 people. He takes people to his native Krivirich, where a shelter is waiting for them. Oleg remembers everyone and keeps in touch with many of them. Is this a different story? Yes. And are there people whom you took away a long time ago, but maintain relations with? Well, there are some. My compadres. I took away a newborn child and became a godfather. The result of another volunteer raid is 12 people saved from war. They are already expected in Krivy Rih and in the frontline Mirnohrad. There are still just over one and a half thousand residents. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Helena Hramova, Evgen Karmazin, UATV News.